Hello there. My name is Bill, and I know stuff. Some of that stuff is even useful. Hopefully, you will find this video useful. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Both will recommend the channel to a wider audience, and I would appreciate your support. Now, on to the video. This video is for someone who is completely unfamiliar with Shotcut but wants to learn. I will walk you through the steps of creating a short video and give you the foundation to develop your own projects. To start with, you want to go shotcut.org and download the software. Once you've downloaded it, install it, go ahead and open up. It will look something like this. Open files. I'm going to actually edit three video clips together into one file that shows you most of the basic concepts that you will need. When you open those up, they show up in the playlist right here. They'll start playing automatically. And if you want to see each one in the player, you can just click it. It will start playing and you can jump around. Whichever one you have highlighted will be the one in the player. And this is the one you can manipulate. You can pull all of these videos down uh, onto the timeline just the way they are, but since I'm going to make a short video clip, I'm just going to grab a piece of it. And to do that, you just get the slider for however much of it you actually want and manipulate that. And you can do it any fashion you want. You can take a piece out of the middle, anything. But I just want to get the short, the beginning, maybe 10 seconds or so. Grab it drag it down onto the timeline and it puts it there and now you can manipulate it with the slider here to see any point in the video next i want to get this next track i only want maybe 10 seconds of that or so but i'm going to grab a little bit more to start with give me something to work with and i can just drag it right down here and stack these up i like to offset my video on the different tracks so that I can work with them easier. I'll bring it down, I'll put this in a track and then I can work on that. And if you play these, you won't see any difference other than it's jumping from one to the other. On this third one, we'll go ahead and open it up. I want to do the same thing. We're just going to take First 10 seconds or so, especially since it's doing something a little wacky. Grab it down. Now you might have noticed the this will snap to. If for some reason you have turned that off, that's the little magnet thing. You want to probably want to toggle snapping back on. But that, that's a preference and it'll be up to you. So at this point, if you were happy with it, you could actually export this into a video. But we want to edit it down and I'm going to show you some, some more concepts. Let's get this first 10 seconds right here. On the clip down here, if you want to, you can clip it right here. If you click this, it will split the playhead and you can delete it. And it will make it that short. I'm going to move these other clips over and I'm just going to do them one at a time. There are ways you can grab all of them, but I'm not going to mess with this one yet. Now, I want to get about 10 seconds of this. Instead of hitting it here and clipping it, you can just actually drag this down and snap it right there to the playhead, and it will shorten it up. This is also useful to know if you, for instance, cut a piece of video and say, hey, I want it to be longer, you can just drag it back out because it's actually working with the entire clip, not just with the piece that you put down here. Let's grab that one there. And we're going to do the same thing. I want about 10 seconds, so we don't want more than a 30-second video clip. Let's drag it down there. I have a 30-second video clip and it's ready, to, it would be ready to go. You can leave those transitions the way they are, or we can work with filters um, to do some things here. And we'll do that, and you can click on filters here, or filters up here. Either one will get you there. 
highlight the track that you want to play with. I'm going to fade in video. And then when we play it, it just fades in. You can change the time. It, it's defaulted at one second, but you can change that time. That's one way you can do a transition. And we'll talk a little bit more about fil different filters that you can use in a second. I'm going to drag this down here. Uh, I actually like some different transitions here. And one of the things you can do, rather than just using filters, if you drag these on top of each other, it will default, by default, it will create a transition. And if you select it and go to properties, it'll show you the, the, the type that is there. Let's look at this real quick. Oh, that's kind of spiffy. I like it. And without the dissolve effect, so let's do the same one here. And if we go to properties, we see it's dissolve. But there's a bunch that you can choose from. I'm just going to take the circle. And let's look at that real quick. Very nice. We have a video with a couple of transitions in it. You can change this transition uh, to, to any type you want. We're going to add another filter here. And we'll do, we're going to do the fade in video. If you don't see these prints show up in your favorites, you, the whole full list is either under video or audio. And you can once, if you just check this little button right here, it will actually put it in your favorites. And if there's some you don't use in favorites, if you uncheck them, they will go away. We're going to fade in video. We're going to leave it at a second. And we're going to end the video. Select that clip. We're going to fade that out. Leave that at a second. And let's take a quick look at this. I think that came out quite nice and it shows you some of the things that you can do. Right here, this last bit, the waterfall is fairly noisy. Let's add another filter and we'll go to gain and let's bump this down. And this works on decibels, which I'm not going to get into explaining, but let's knock that down by 10 so it's a little bit quieter. Let's go ahead and enter. And now when you play the clip, not quite so noisy. I like it. Right now you have almost all the basics you need for creating any kind of video. The last thing I'm going to show you, I think, here is how to add a title layer. Let's select this video track that looks like we're not using right now. Go to Open Other. Select text. I'm going to do that, and we'll just make sure it says transparent right there. It's, that's a default, but there. Let's go ahead and drag this down. We don't have to worry about putting any text in it right at the minute. And I'm going to set it for five seconds. Now, this puts text simple in there, which does not allow you to format it. I don't like the options. Up here, just go ahead and click that. It leaves the transparent background. Click plus, go to text rich, click on that. And now you have one that you can actually format and do almost anything you want with. I'm going to type that in there. I'm going to use some centering because I want it centered up. I want to change the color, make it yellow. I can change the font. Let's go with that. Let's go with bold. Stands out. Ooh, not nearly big enough. Let's go with 92. Much better. Now we have a title layer. I'm going to unselect it so you don't see the box. Now 
that looks good but using more filters and ones you're familiar with already fade in video now this time we'll leave it at one but check this adjust opacity right there and we're going to add fade out same thing adjust opacity you can adjust the time if you want to do that as well let's jump out of there that looks much spiffier bear in mind there are tons of filters in here and a lot of effects that you can do this will get you up and running and allow you to do your own experimentation last thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to export the video click on export here and i'm just going to select youtube and this has defaults yeah, so if you don't want you can actually get in here and change things if you want but 1920 by 1080 16 by 9 all of that is a is set up already let's go ahead and export it save and you'll see that it's running you may not have the jobs by default on your menu but i like to see it running this is only going to take a, a minute or two if you have very long videos they will uh, take longer all right the video's done let's go have a look at this thing what we'll koala falls short There we go. Very short. Uh, I think the video came out, came out just fine. Now I've shown you all the basic concepts you need to put together your own videos. This is a good foundation to continue on from. There's a lot more that this program will offer you. I'll have other tutorials. Perhaps you might want to check some of those out as well. Uh, before you go, make sure you go ahead and save this. This will save it in the shortcut format that you're able to use and reopen. And I like to keep all these files together, even if I move them around, because then if I open this up later, it just needs to know what directory those files are in. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Drop me a comment if you have questions or you need help with something. I'll be glad to jump in. Y'all have a great day.